Hey guys, Robert with 3D Printscape. So I've had a lot of people in the community ask how to connect their 3D printer to the computer so they can send G-code commands. Uh, most of the time it's focused around trying to get the uh, software end stops disabled so they can set the Z offset, but there's a lot more things you can do with it. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to connect your 3D printer to the computer and use Printerface to interface with the actual printer itself so that way you can get the actual terminal output and send the G-code commands. There are other options as well, uh, but this process is easy and it will meet the needs for most people. But if you have Octoprint or anything like that, it has these features built in. And I have both of my printers here just to show you that uh, if you have a screen like the TFT35, which I have on this printer, uh, you've got the direct interface to send the G-code commands in that screen. Uh, but that's just not an option with the standard screen here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started, but before you do, if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and if you run into any issues or have any questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Alright, so really, all you're going to need are three things. You're going to need your computer, uh, doesn't really matter what the specs are, uh, it just has to run a simple software program, um, so it doesn't need to be powerful, a uh, 3D printer, and the USB cord for your 3D printer. Um, I've got an SKR Mini on this printer, uh, so it has a different uh, USB port than on the 422 Creality boards. Uh, so just take a look to see what USB port you have. You'll just see it right in the front and make sure that you have a cable that will go with it. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug my 3D printer into my computer and then we'll go ahead and resume the recording on the computer. I'll walk you through the software you need to install, how to install it, and go over a couple tips and tricks along the way. Alright guys, so we're here at the computer. First thing we want to go ahead and do is download Printerface. Uh, I'll link to these in the description below, but you just want to go to the main website here and then go to uh, downloads or just scroll down to you get to download. And then you can just click on latest release here. And this will take you to the download page uh, where you can download it for whatever OS you're running, whether it be Windows or Mac. I've got Windows, so I'm going to download the 64-bit version for Windows. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and open my downloads folder and uh, go ahead and extract this. And then uh, before we go ahead and launch this, uh, now we want to go ahead and connect the computer. Um, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, use the USB cable to connect to the computer. And then we'll go into the device manager to make sure that it's loading the drivers properly. And if not, uh, I'm going to link to a common set of drivers that are found in a lot of these printers. All right, so I just plugged that in. Now I'm going to go to device manager. You can do that by going to your menu over on the left and right clicking and going up to device manager. And then we want to look under ports here and then you should see USB to serial and make a note here that it's COM3. That's going to be the connection to the printer. If you don't have this, uh, you can go ahead and try to force an install or if it's showing driver unknown on one of them, you can just right click and hit update driver. That will have it search for the driver or you can download uh, the FTDI chip driver, which a lot of these printers are using. You'll just go to their page and then go ahead and download it from right here. Just download that and then you can open it if you want. Uh, I think nine times out of 10 though, uh, it's gonna automatically load the driver for you. So I don't wanna go into too much detail here, uh, but th this is gonna be the driver that you'll end up using if it doesn't. All right, now that we've verified everything, we can go ahead and launch Printerface. So we'll just go back to our downloads folder where we unzipped it and then uh, launch the exe. And then here uh, you wanna set this port to COM3 or whichever one that your printer was connected to, and then you can try to connect to it. And then if, you, if it's not connecting and giving you full terminal output, you might have to play with the rate here. All right, so let's walk through the user interface really quick. Over on the left, you've got your basic controls. In the middle, you can load an STL or G-code file. Uh, I typically don't use this. Uh, I just use Cura or Octoprint, uh, but it does work. It's just very slow. And then on the right, you have your console output. So if you wanted to load a file, though, you just go here to load file and then uh, select the file that you're looking for. So I'll just load an STL here. And actually it failed to slice that. So let me just go ahead and slice it really quick and cure, show you what it looks like. But um, this typically doesn't work most of the time. All right, so I slice that really quick. Now I'll open up the G-code file this time. 
and you can see here that it's loading. It is very slow, like I mentioned. So you can use this to do the slicing when it works or to take a look to see if um, your G-code file is what you expect. Uh, but to me, I wouldn't waste much time on it. The important part of this is really this terminal on the right here. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that if you're trying to do anything with uh, any of the steppers or trying to heat the bedroom thing, you want to make sure that you actually have the printer uh, connected to a power source. The power provided by the USB port isn't going to be enough to actually do anything besides really light up the screen and send basic commands. Um, but here, if you kicked off home, it's going to go ahead and just home your printer. Or if you send a G28 command here, it would auto home it as well. You see here, it's sending it and it just kicked off the auto home. Sorry, I don't have a separate camera on it right now, so it's, I can't quite show you what it's doing, uh, but it is running through the auto home process. And then if I was to uh, do G29, it would kick off a mesh if you have the BL touch. So now the next thing I wanted to show you was how you would actually disable uh, the software end stops using G code. Um, like I said, a lot of people have asked for that specifically. So once you're in here, you would do M211 S0 to disable. So as you can see here, it says software end stops are now off. And then if you want to turn them back on, it'll be M211 S1. Um, and that's really all there is to that for um, disabling them through the G-code. Like I said, you could also do it in the firmware too, but if you're not running a custom build, that's really not an option. All right, the last thing I wanted to show you here was uh, just the Marlin G-code site. It kind of has a overview of all of your G-code commands here. Um, you can kind of drill into each of them like the uh, G28 that I showed you a minute ago. Uh, it kind of goes over what it is and um, when you can use it, but it's just auto home or if you want to do the G29 for the bed level or the M211, which I just showed you to disable the software and stops. It's down here, but basically it goes through all of your G code commands and talks about uh, what they're for and gives you the arguments that go along with them. Like here, the S flag uh, with S1 for enable or S0 to disable. Uh, but this is a really good reference, and I'll link to this in the description below as well. But that's really all there is to it. I mean, you can use a Prana Face for more, um, but I personally don't. Uh, if you would like to see any more on this, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks. All right, guys, so that covered the process of connecting your 3D printer to your computer uh, so you can send G-code commands using Pronerface. Uh, as you saw, the process was pretty straightforward. The software is easy to install. You just need a USB cable plus your primary computer, and that's really it. Uh, if you have any questions or run into any issues, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. You can leave a comment below or go ahead and join us on Discord.